Why did I buy two Kyosho USA ones? My channel hope everyone's doing well out there i know it's been a little while since i last posted you're probably wondering why on earth did i buy another kyosho usa one if you've been watching my previous videos you'll know you're well aware that i've been having some issues with my uh, my first kyosho usa one right up there um and uh, you know no need to repeat them on this video if you're not aware of them check out my previous videos um but long story short i got it fixed um, and you know, I reached out to Kyosho and they are sending out some replacement parts. They've been really, um, uh, receptive on the, in email and, uh, on phone as well. I've spoken to them and I've seen a few other people, RG included, getting uh, some parts there, uh, sent to them. So Kyosho has reached out to me as well and they will be sending me some replacement parts to compensate me for what I purchased myself to get this thing, uh, properly shifting through the three speed. So as you saw from the footage, it's shifting beautifully now. Um, I'm just, uh, you know, I've just been maintaining that uh, needle bearing with some lube. I've been using a uh, liquid wrench white lithium grease spray. I do have the Kyosho one way bearing grease sitting there. I'm going to be using that on my new one um, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, but anyway, why I bought another one? Well, there's pretty much the reason has been summed up for you right there. Even the amount of problems that I had with the initial Kyosho USA one, this thing gives me so much joy, so much pleasure to drive. Um, I have a Revo 3.3. I also have an X Max. The X Max gives me a fantastic time as an uh, you know as an electric, but nothing, uh, no other Nitro has given me as much joy as the Kyosho USA one does. Uh, with its three-speed shifting now beautifully, as you saw from the footage, um, and I've got plenty of that footage, uh, you know uh, where that came from. This thing is just shifting beautifully. You can bash it as you saw, bashing through the gears, donuts, uh, flips, crunches. Uh, it, it's been bashed. 
it's been bashed. I just took it out today for another couple of tanks. Um, and that thing just gives you so much joy. So Black Friday was coming around. A Main Hobbies had a little deal there, 15% off code. I think it was almost like $80 off. And knowing Kyosho, what they did with the previous Mad Crusher, um, they discontinued it some years back. And, you know, they do become collector's items. And man, I've been just having so much fun with this thing that I decided I had to get another one. And this one's going to be a bit of a shelf king, shelf queen. And, um, you know, but we are going to run it. So do look forward to some videos. We're going to do an unboxing and a separate video. If you haven't seen what this thing looks like, brand spanking you. I have not opened it yet, so I'm saving that for another video. And then we're going to also break it in on the video. And then we're also going to take that transmission apart before we even run it. Uh, make it move anyway, and we're going to, uh, you know, service that transmission. So if you've also got a Kyosho USA one on the way, or you just bought one, I uh, highly recommend, you know, so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you'll get a notification when I post that video, uh, because you don't want to run this Kyosho without lubing those needle bearings in the transmission, otherwise you're going to run into some issues. So stay tuned, stay tuned for that. Again, Kyosho USA one's been giving me so much great, such a great time, such a fantastic truck. Uh, you know, again, the Revo 3.3 is great, great fun, but I think the big bore engine, this is a 25 engine, this thing's got some torque, serious torque, uh, especially that low end torque, and I find the Revo 3.3 is just kind of lacking on that. I mean, again, apples and oranges, they're both very different vehicles, but you know, when, you, when you've been riding this thing, I think I've run about 40 or 50 tanks, no, let's say about 45 tanks through this thing, um, I, do, I do keep a track of that. Um, the Revo's had much less, I think about 25 uh, probably, and... Um, you know, again, you just feel the difference. There's so much power and torque in this thing. Um, and again, that's why I had to just get another one. So anyway, that's been a quick video here. Just wanted to show you this thing just came in. Again, I ordered it from A-Main Hobbies. Due to the holidays, FedEx was holding my package uh, hostage at my local hub here uh, for about a week. And uh, it was just sitting there. You know, shout out to A-Main Hobbies because they literally ship out your order the same day you order it. Typically, I ordered this thing last uh, Black Cyber Monday, whatever. And uh, it was shipped out the same day and picked up by FedEx. But FedEx has literally been, uh, I'm sure you, some of you guys probably know about FedEx issues. I'm sure I don't have to. I'm probably preaching to the choir here. But anyway, it came today. I was really happy when it came. Thankfully, it wasn't damaged or anything. Um, but yeah, we'll do a full-on unboxing of this thing. I did also receive the metal gears. I wish I had them here to show you. I think they're inside. Wait, do we have them? Hold on a second. We got them right here, guys. We got them right here. So I might as well show you right now. If you haven't seen them, we've got the full metal gears. Uh, these are hardened steel. Um, and, you know, I know th some of you guys have been following. You know where to get them on eBay, AliExpress. Uh, this is the new revision of the third gear. As you can see, I haven't even opened it. And this one has the bearings for both sides. They should slip right in. And that's the third gear. And then we've got the second gear. Now, I don't know when I'm going to install it. Because right now, this thing is shifting smoothly like butter. And... With the issues I had in the beginning, I don't feel like trying to fix something that's not broken. So I'm going to leave those steel gears aside for now. Um, and yeah, maybe what I'll do is just make, uh, maybe I'll buy the parts and just kind of recreate an entire transmission with those steel gears. So that way we can maybe quickly switch in and out the whole transmission if we want to try a steel gear setup versus the stock gear setup. Um, I'd, rather not, <clears throat> I'd rather not be switching the gears themselves back and forth so if we can just make a whole assembly to switch back and forth i think that would be a better idea uh, these things were about 64 dollars from uh, i believe from aliexpress from the same guy that has them on ebay um and they look super high quality i know some people they've just released them i think you know the three speed one anyway and i think people have been having some good luck with them uh let me know in the comments if you've installed these and um you know do you need to have a hardened steel cam because i was wondering now that you've got hardened steel gears is the cam finger going to wear out quicker so that's again one of the reasons i am not deciding to change these metal gears right now because again i'm not going to fix something that's not broken as you saw from the videos this thing shipped in beautifully um basha and she's great she's just great the body on this one we're going to keep that as the shelf queen it's never going to get run um the tires and the wheels on this thing i'm probably going to keep them mint as well so when we do break this other new truck in, we're going to just take the wheels off our old one, put it on this one. Um, and yeah, so look forward to those videos coming very soon for you guys. Hope you're doing well. Happy holidays to you guys. Stay tuned for those videos coming up. If you're not a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.